Look at those chin chompers. Playing in the forest. Not a care in the world. But with no food to eat. Sponsor a chin chomper today. With your free subscription with the Aubrey RS channel. Thank you. Or we could just trap them against their will and sell them for a profit. Yeah, let's do that. Hey guys, Aubrey RS back again with another money maker. If you like the intro, make sure you like and subscribe and sponsor that chin chopper. So today's guide, we're looking at hunting crystal skill chompers. Some of the requirements you're going to need are the Regicide quest as well as 97 hunter, and also the highest agility level you can get, preferably 99, because the higher your agility level is, the more catches you will get per catch. So whenever you actually catch a skill chomper, you might get four, five, or six compared to just the one. For recommended equipment, we have the 99 Hunter Cape, which will allow us to lay the traps much faster. But don't worry if you don't have the 99 Hunter Cape. Uh, I will be showing a tip later, which will make the method a bit easier and a bit more chill for people that don't have the cape. Then we have the Arctic Bear Pouch, which will increase our success rate whenever we're trying to catch. Same with the Ring of Whispers from the Sliskys Endgame Quest, that will increase our success rate. We have the Enhanced Yaktui Stick, which will give us a bit of bonus XP. And then we also have the Volcanic Trapper Outfit. And what that will enable us to do is have a chance of doubling any drops that we get from harvesting the traps. So in a case you may have had 5 from the trap, then you would then get 10. And that can really increase uh, the profit of this method. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay Mr. YouTube RuneScape person, I know what I, know what I need to do, let's just get on with it. So we will do exactly that. So we're going to go to Port Sarum, we're going to charter a ship to Port Tyrus. Port Tyrus is where we need to go to find the chompers. So we just charter a trip with a crew member and we're heading to Port Tyrus. Surge, bladed dive, all that good stuff. And you can see the hunter symbol as we get into Port Tyrus and that's where we're headed. I'll see you when we get over there. So whenever I arrive, I like to line myself up with a rock just like this. And then to start laying traps, what I've done is I've got my cape and I've dragged it onto my ability bar. And then I've also taken the box trap and I've put that onto my ability bar as well. So whenever I'm setting traps, what I'll do is I'll hit those two key binds at the same time. That means I'll get the effect of the cape as well as laying the box trap at the same time so it lays much faster. You could optionally quickly tap the cape keybind before the box keybind, but I think that's just quite cumbersome. So what I do is I just hit the two different keybinds at the same time and the box trap comes out super fast. So then all you need to do is when you're collecting, as you can see in the video, just collect the box and then as soon as the box disappears, just hit your two keys and the box trap will come out super fast. So that if you don't own a hunter cape, I do have another method here. So you can see me laying down the traps. And you'll just see after I lay down the final trap, you'll see the difference in the strategy here. So now that all my traps are laid, I'm going to start holding down the keybind for the trap. So as you can see, as soon as I collect then from the trap, the trap instantly lays afterwards. So you could literally spend your entire time now just holding your box trap keybind. And it will always come out on the very first game tick. So in some ways, this is actually more comfortable and easier than having to hit X and C or your key binds. You know, after every single time that you've got a chin chomper, this is actually more chill and more relaxed than the hunter cape method. All you have to do is just tend to your boxes and just keep your key bind held down for your trap the whole time. So in running my 15 minute test, I'm being, being very deliberate to make sure that I'm getting to the traps as quick as possible. I'm also making sure that the Arctic Bear is someone at all times. And I'm really just trying to be as efficient as I can with picking up the traps and laying the traps. Okay, so now that I'm done with my 
15 minute test. Let me just add everything into the price check and that's 2.3 mil. So I would be averaging roughly nine mil an hour if I was to do this method. Now just consider that I haven't got the trapper outfit. And again, the trapper outfit allows you to get a chance of double a uh, loot for each trap that you lay. And it also lets you add an additional trap so you could lay six traps. So really the, the upper end of this training method would be about 10 mil an hour. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to make sure you like the video and subscribe as well to support that Jim Chompa. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.